Hello, my dear children. How are you all? Hope you are all fine, safe, and sound. Today, we are going to discuss the next chapter in Plus One CS. This is about problem solving. What is problem solving? Problem solving is a process of transforming. the description of a problem into the solution of that problem by using our knowledge of the problem domain and by relying on our ability to select and use appropriate problem solving strategies techniques and tools problem solving refers to analyzing a problem with the intention of De deriving a solution for the problem my dear children problem solving is an ability of a human being by using some common strategies techniques and tools as we are all computer programmers you, we have to be a computer programmer to solve many real time problems the problem solving in computer region is done through software development for a particular problem if you want to add two numbers that is a problem then we should have to find the solution for it we should have to require two numbers then it has to be added then the result has to be produced to the user so each and every problem there must be a definite circle or cycle for getting the solution my dear children today we are going to discuss more about software development life cycle in software development life cycle there are many steps it is very easy to understand as we are all programmers we should have to learn each and everything the first one is requirements second one is analysis third one is design fourth one is coding fifth is testing then implementation then the last one is documentation we should discuss more about each and every steps in software development life cycle the first one is requirements in requirements we should have to aware about what is the problem is what is needed to solve it what the solution should provide if there are constraints and special contain conditions if i am giving a problem like find the square of all the odd numbers from 6 to 12 what are all the requirements i need a range that is 6 to 12 what are the odd numbers within that 6 to 12 7 9 11 we should have to get the square of all these numbers so what the solution will provide the square of odd numbers if there are constraints or conditions condition is what it should be odd and it should be in the range of 6 to 12 so as a requirement i need to analyze all these things what is the problem what need to be solved what is the solution and if there is any condition or not the next one is about analysis in the analysis we should aware about the inputs outputs and the formulas the input to the problem their form and the input media to be used output which is expected from the problem their form and the output media to be used then if there is any constraint or cons condition is necessary the formula or equations to be used what are the inputs i said 
I had given the inputs as the numbers, the odd numbers from 6 to 12. The output is nothing but the square. The formula that is number into number. So, this is the analysis we should have to aware while we are giving or while we are getting any problem and its solution. Then the next one is design. In design phase, we design the pros proposed solution without writing a computer program by using a technique. Without writing any program, you can design the problem solution either using algorithm or pseudocode or flowchart. These are all the three main ingredients to get the solution without writing a program. By knowing the algorithm, pseudocode or flowchart, we can easily write a program code either in the Python, C, C++ or in Java. If you know the algorithm, if you can write the algorithm, then it will be easy for you to write any program. We will discuss more about algorithm, pseudocode and flowchart in the upcoming modules. The next phase is coding. It is the process of transforming the design into a computer program using any programming language. Here we have to use only Python. The output of the program must be the solution of intended problem. My dear children, after designing a program solution, a problem solutions using algorithm or flowchart or pseudocode, we need to write or we need to convert that particular implementation through a pro programming language. Here we have to use only Python language. The next one is testing. Testing is the process of checking the input and output together. The program testing is the process of executing a program to demonstrate its correctness. Program verification is the process of ensuring that the program meets user's requirement. After the program is compiled, we must run the program or test or verify it with the different inputs before the program can be released to the public or other users. That means before giving to other person, we should have to give or we should have to check our program whether it is displaying the correct output for the correct inputs. That is called processing or testing. The next one is implementation. It is the process of installing the software developed on the customer's site. Installation may be done by replace the entire manual work with the software developed or in a pilot mode that is running the manual and automated system in a parallel or installing only a part of module with the manual work. It is also involves training of software to be intended users. Implementation is nothing but the usage of our software in a particular area. For implementation, we should have to install our program into the system. Those who requires. The last but not the least that is the documentation contains the details proposed at all the stages of the program development cycle. Can be done in two ways. Writing comments in between your line of code or creating a separate text file to explain the program. Normally, while at the installation time you will get a text file how to install, how to use. For if you are playing a game, you will get the instructions like how to play a game, what, what are all the tools you can use. So, it is like the instruction for the users how to use the software. Documentation plays a major role in the place of implementation. Important, important not only for other persons to use or modify your program but also for you to understand your own program after a long time. Documentation is nothing but writing documents about the program or the software which you developed. My dear children, we will discuss more about the pseudocode, algorithm and flowchart in the upcoming modules. 
then only we will start with the actual coding my dear children once again i am repeating there are many steps to develop software life cycle that is a software development having many steps one is requirement analysis designing coding testing implementation and documentation thank you